Now we want the gold side out. Um, you're gonna hold your paper vertical, bring the top two corners down to the bottom two corners. Line it up as best as possible. Uh, depending on if you're using this gold paper or regular poster board, it's gonna be kind of difficult to fold. I start in the center and then fold outwards. And then I use my pencil, just the edge of it, to crease it even more. It will leave little grooves, but it works. <clears throat> now I want to tape these edges. Uh, you can choose to use different color tape or you can use a stapler. If you use a stapler, make sure all of your staples are close to the edge. You don't want, to want them too far in, otherwise you'll narrow the space that you can put stuff inside. <clears throat> you also don't want to do a million staples, but enough to where you feel it's comfortable. Alright, so let's say you choose not to do staples. I do want you to use at least one staple for the top just to secure it. And then after that, use whatever color tape. I'm going to use black. <laughs> Get out a length that will cover the entire side. Line up so that's even. Hold it flat so that it stays closed. You could use an X-Acto knife to cut off this excess, but I don't want you cutting the tables. So instead of using an X-Acto knife, I'm gonna use some scissors. My poster board's slightly off on this side, so I'm gonna cut this. All right, so I've got a nice even edge, or I could do staples. You could do, I would choose one or the other, don't do both. I'm just doing both so I can demo it. <clears throat> Second, you're going to draw a picture using your pencil on here. The pencil is not gonna leave necessarily a pencil mark, but it'll leave a slight indent, um, and that will be your design for your, photo, for your portfolio. Include different things that you like. If you like soccer, you might include a soccer ball. If you like um, painting, you might include a paintbrush and a paint palette. <clears throat> or maybe you wanna use words. Um, you might include your name. Um, a little trick if you're doing words. If you start off with just say, let's say the letter R, just make sure as you outline, your pencil never touches the letter itself. Um, as long as it doesn't cross over any section, it will be outlined. If you have some sort of circle or something, you'll outline the outer edge and inside. So I'll outline this inside. One thing I didn't mention is as I go around edges that are points, I just square them off. You could round them off. That would also work. Once you've done that, erase the inside. That's a nice block letter. <clears throat> this is what I did, and then as I start cutting, I end up uh, making some edges go from thick to thin, maybe some areas down lower. Anyway, it ends up kind of being neat. You'll draw it out, and then you're gonna cut it out. If I were to cut exactly along these lines, make sure that you don't accidentally cut through the paper. If your lines are not exact, that's that would be okay. Whenever you're carving a rounded edge, it's 
easier, I think, to rotate the paper than to try and rotate your hand and the blade. Then using the tip of the blade, I'm going to slightly try and get underneath one of these corners. Once I get under that corner piece, I can peel it up and it should end by the edges if I went deep enough. That's how you take out a big section. One thing I like to do though, is the same thing except for after I'm done drying it, I like to take out sections and alter the look slightly. <clears throat> so instead of going straight on that line, I might go from thick to thin, thick to thin again. Just alters my design a little bit. <clears throat> Oops, made a mistake. That ever happens, just fix your mistake. Make it look like you did it on purpose. <coughs> so you can see as I'm going along, I'm Still maintaining the basic shape of that R, except for I'm doing some areas thick and some a little bit thinner. Just outlining the word. So you get the idea, a couple different options. Um, let's compare and contrast. All right, so this one, terrible. Some of the things they did, um, one is when they were peeling off pieces of paper, of the gold, they were peeling too much and then they ended up peeling off a large chunk. Another bad thing is they were having a hard time doing this cutting, so they got frustrated and just started scratching it. Don't do that. It will ruin the blade of your X-Acto knife and it doesn't look very nice. You want to have nice clean edges. Uh, make sure you plan it out first by drawing it with pencil. Then afterwards cut out each section. So here's some of the progress I've made on my current portfolio. I still have got to go through the rest of the letters. I've started adding something that I like is painting. Um, so I might add some art, other art items on this page. Um, I'll always draw it out with pencil first so I know basically what I'm cutting out. Then I'll cut it out with an X-Acto knife. 
When you're using the X-Acto blades, if they ever become loose end, make sure that they're tight. You hold this top portion and then turn the bottom clockwise. Yeah.